<laughs> hey everybody, it's Reed, and today I've got Lisa Hutt with me. She's a construction accounting pro, a CPA, and today we're going to talk about workers' comp for construction companies. So Lisa, is there anything unique, anything interesting? Maybe I'm a contractor and I'm thinking about bringing on uh, my first uh, employees or uh, that type of thing. Is there something I need to be uh, aware of when it comes to workers' comp? Yeah. So the first thing I would say for workers' compensation in general, whether you're construction or not, is, you know, depending on the number of employees you have, you may want to set up a automatic accrual in your payroll system to accrue based on hours worked and type of person so that when you come up at the end of your insurance audit cycle, you have a more accurate number. Sometimes the premiums you pay in are pretty accurate and you can use that as your expense, but a lot of companies like to accrue that actual amount and also hit the job costs with that accrual as well with actually what happened. So I think w one of our goals is just tying that all together, you know, is making it into a holistic system. So we're not having to fight these little details and things like that on mm -hmm. a daily basis. So when you look at it from a whole perspective, I mean, obviously a system that's built for construction, it helps in this category too, right? Right. So, you know, you have, you know, your ADPs, you've got, you know, other accounting software that can do some payroll accruals, some construction payroll. But what we have found and what I found over the, the many years doing construction accounting is in-house payroll tends to be the most accurate for construction in most efficient and reduces errors. So I've I've had a couple companies where we've outsourced the payroll and the construction, they just haven't figured it out yet in the payroll world for third-party software. So keeping it close, keeping it in-house tends to reduce those those errors with either accruals or time or anything really. So I would say if you're a simple construction company, you know, you might be able to outsource it, don't have very many employees, but if you've got unions, you've got work comp you want to accrue, you've got PTO, you know, setting it up appropriately in the in-house software is your best bet. Awesome. Well, if you mm -hmm. want more payroll assistance or more guidance on how your construction company should be handling payroll, get in touch with our pros today. Send us an email at help at bangerdink.com. Take a look at Sage Intact for construction. It's the next generation solution for construction accounting and job costing. Lisa, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Reed. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, helps the algorithm. I appreciate you spending the time with us. And as always, make it a great one.